Hi, welcome to My Football Mentor. I'm Coach Van Tassel, and what we're going to talk about today is a technique by one player that it can actually change how an entire defense schemes versus the offense. And let me explain to you how that works. I'll show you what we've got set up here. Uh, right now we've got uh, trips open formation, so we've got three receivers to the strength, and we've got an X receiver backside, we've got a quarterback, and a single tailback. When you see a trips formation like this, 99% uh, of the time, your defense is going to cover that with a cover three coverage, which puts him in a deep third, puts him in a deep third, puts him hook to flat, puts him hook curl, hook curl, hook to flat over here. Typically, though, this guy will actually come if, uh, if the defense is shifted over to a trip side. He's usually going to then come. This guy is going to play inside out. Now, I'll tell you why they do it this way. You bring the free safety over to the trip side because you always want to have a four-on-three scenario, defense versus offense. When it's a zone coverage, you usually like to have one additional defender uh, in a zone coverage than the offense actually has. So when you kick the free safety over the number three receiver here, which would be the Y, uh, then you leave the corner backside vulnerable in the middle of the field. So what he's got to do is he's got to play an inside-out shade on the X receiver. And the reason that he does that is because the safety is over here on top of the number three receiver to the trip side, and he's helping out over there, so he doesn't have any safety help to the middle of the field. So he's going to leverage the X receiver on his inside to protect the middle of the field. He doesn't want this guy to get anywhere in here. So I'll show you a technique that some coaches utilize when you're trying to take away leverage from a defender and then I'll show you a technique that's a fail-safe way to create a two-way go on this defender. Now, if we did a normal stem off the line of scrimmage by this guy here because he's leveraged, we'd push off the ball at this angle like this to try and take away that inside-out leverage by the corner. A well-trained corner, though, will apply a technique that's called a weave technique. So in his back pedal, he's actually going to maintain an inside out. He's going to maintain that leverage so that the corner can't get inside of him. Okay? That's pretty typical. Um, you're not going to see anything more complicated than that at the high school level. And it would know, probably be rare to see him even weave like that. But a well-coached corner will. So uh, the way to counter the weave by the corner is a technique that I call a crossover stem. So what we do is we come off the line of scrimmage vertically for about four or five yards. We get the corner into a back pedal. And we come off vertically, he's not threatened to the inside. So he's not worried, if he's not having to weave. He's going to drop and he's going to drop at a pace relative to how we come off the line of scrimmage. If we come off the line of scrimmage and push hard the way we should, then he's going to drop with pace as well. That's to our advantage. We've got to push off the ball four to five yards as fast as we can to get him into a heavy back pedal. Once we get him into a heavy back pedal, and he is approximately here, okay, we're running, we're trying to push up his toes, we're going to cross over our stride and square him up. That could take one step, that could take two steps. But the bottom line is after we come off the line of scrimmage hard for four or five yards vertically, we are going to cross over while he's in a back pedal and square him up. Here's the kicker on this. When he's in a hard back pedal, he can't weave. Try it sometime. Go out on a football field and go into a hard back pedal straight back as hard as you can and then try to all of a sudden change directions going one way or the other. Try to make a 45 degree cut one way. It's nearly impossible. On top of the fact, it's nothing that he's going to expect. So anyway, we cross over stem, we square the corner up. Well, guess what we have now when we square him up? We create what is called a two-way go. That means that we're free to go this way and we're free to go this way. That's a corner's worst nightmare in a one-on-one -on -one scenario like this. So what I advocate my receivers to do, once they get that corner in a position where he's got a two-way go, 
if we want to go post, which he's no longer to help, no longer there to help on, we're going to give a stick to the fade, try and get him to lean onto his outside foot and turn and run with us, and then right off his weak hip, we're going to post it. Okay, we've now given ourselves an opportunity with that two-way go to get inside of that guy. Once we do, this guy's never going to get there to be able to take away that post throw. So, we do this a couple times, and maybe even if we do it one time against a defense that covers a trips formation like this, what does the defensive coordinator say? He's pulling his hair out because he realizes that he's got a corner that's an inside-out leverage against the receiver, and he can't maintain that inside-out leverage. He's allowing him to get to the post. Well, what's, what does he have to do? What's the solution to that problem? If this guy can't keep him on the outside, he's given up the post. Well, you got to do this. you got to bring the free safety right here so that if this guy does get beat on the post, he's got some help. Either that or you've got to drop this backer and try and get him into a throwing lane. You do that, the offensive coordinator comes back and sees run off tackle on the left side. But what you're effectively doing when you have one player, in particular this receiver, being able to execute a technique like the crossover stem against an inside leverage corner is you dictate what the defense has to do to cover that. So when they bring a free safety back in the middle of the field to help this guy out, lo and behold, we leave a three-on-three -three scenario here to the right, which is what the offense wants. We want three guys covering three guys because in a zone scenario, that's advantage offense. So this is an example how one particular technique which I call the crossover stem, can completely dictate how a defense has to play in the secondary. Thanks for following my football mentor.